Hey guys, Eric Kyle here, publisher of Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine, and I'm excited to be down at the Cedar Point Boat Show right here in Sandusky, Ohio, one of my favorite shows for the whole year. So while I'm here, I'm kind of wandering around, I'm looking for some fun and exciting things to report to you guys on, and I ran across our friends over at the United States Power Squadron. I'm here with Bob DuRay. Bob, how are you, brother? How are you? Very I'm good. doing great. Shell? I love having you guys here. Thank you so much for being well, here. You. This is such a great event for us to enjoy, and it's fantastic that the Power Squadron comes out here. So tell me a little bit about what you do or did with the Power Squadron. Okay, I'm a past district commander. Okay. And I oversaw the seven squadrons in District 29, okay. which encompasses Sandusky, Ohio in the east, mm -hmm. to Fort Wayne in the west, in Indiana, ah. south to Columbus, Ohio. Okay. And, and each of the have their own little districts. And what we are is a safe boating organization. We teach safe boating. We want our people to take our class to make them safe in, on, and around the water. Yeah. Through boat handling, knowing the law, but more to help yeah. when we can. You know, it's tragic. Last weekend, we heard about a person falling off the boat south of Putin Bay. They recovered him a day later. Um, we were out at Kelly's Island last weekend. We saw a new boater cram in reverse, ran right into a CRA, put a big hole in the side of the boat. You just never know what's going to be out there. And it's so important for us to have that educational component about how to boat, what the safety measures are out there. And that's where the Power Squadron comes into play. Back up one sure. Step. Sure. This says everything right here. Yeah. Most drownings occur in safe, calm water because they were not wearing one of these. Yeah. And what you just pointed out, they fell overboard. Yep. Panic sets in, they struck their head on something. Mm -hmm. This floats, you don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so critical to wear a life jacket, but even the boaters who are out there who don't know how to dock their boats, who are unfamiliar with how to handle the boats in rougher seas, um, who have the lives of all their passengers on their hands, it really is a good idea to take a safe boating class. Now, if I'm a boater out there and I just bought a boat and I've never run one before, Bob, how do I go about the educational process that the Power Squadron has to offer? Okay, here in Sandusky, mm -hmm. we have $15,000 worth of equipment sitting right there. Okay. It can show you how to build the basic fundamentals of steering a boat, okay. what it will do. It's made by virtual driver. Ah. The United States military uses virtual trainers. Okay. The, all airlines use virtual trainers. Mm -hmm. Most high schools and over-the-road trucking schools use a virtual trainer. You can trade paint with something in yeah. virtual reality a lot cheaper than you can oh, yeah. in reality. <laughs> and you guys go through all the fundamentals as well before you put them in front of the computer, like this is the bow, this is the stern, this is a rub rail, this is a fender, this is a tie line, this is, you know, you yes. go through all that kind of stuff, and then you put them in front of something like that and say, right. okay, let's play some video games. Well, first off, it's not a video game. Right, it is right, for real. Right, right. And some of the programs, the scenarios that can go through that are very beneficial to the first time boater. Yeah. How to put your boat back on the trailer. There's a simulation in there. Nice. How to dock a boat. Right. How to undock a boat. Mm -hmm. There are maneuvering drills. Mm -hmm. Then, there's a man overboard drill. Yeah. You just, the scenario is you're cruising along, you see an object, that's a person in the water. Yep. How to help them safely. Okay. Yeah. That is fantastic information to have and definitely something that's needed for not only our new boaters to the sport, but also people who have been around for a while and need a refresher, who might think, well, I've been boating for years, I know everything there is to know. Then they go back and, ah, oh, there's a couple of things I need refreshers on. So that's always a good idea. So tell me, if I'm not able, Bob, to make it down to the Cedar Point Boat Show, um, how am I going to get in touch with the United States Power Squadron in whatever district I'm in? You can look up Power Squadron, United States Power Squadron, on your computer, your laptop, your phone. Mm -hmm. Then your geographic area that you're in will have a district. Okay. 
there's over 30 districts in the United States. Wow. And you can contact them. Ohio is unique in that we have four districts in the state of Ohio. Wow, there's a lot of boating done in Ohio alone. Well, and we cover the whole Great Lakes area, so is it just USPS.org? Yes. Perfect. So go to USPS.org, yes. look up your district, find out more information about how to get involved with the district in your area for educational purposes, training purposes, or just simply to find out how to have a better time on the water. Bob, thank you so much, my man. Thank you so much. It's been right. fantastic. USPS.org, that's where you need to go. Whether you're an experienced boater or just getting into the lifestyle, make sure you go by USPS.org. Find out all the information that you need to become a safer, happier boater. Thanks so much for joining us today, guys. We'll see you out on the water.